Okay, today we're talking about how to operate our large capacity sprayer, the PM039. And this is our largest sprayer to date. And uh, we'll talk about what you need to prepare when you take out your new sprayer. And first thing you want to do when, you, when you're spraying is, uh, with a new sprayer, you have to first flush the machine, make you get out anything, uh, any kind of oil or something that's packed in the pump, and make sure you're uh, not contaminating your paint. So you'll start with three buckets. You'll need your paint, of course, a bucket of solvent, and for water-based paint, that would be water. And if it were, you know, whatever the paint type you have, lacquer, thinner, or uh, mineral spirits, whatever, and then you have a waste bucket. So you'll need three buckets at least to, to begin this task. And you start off with your gun with the tip assembly removed. And uh, we'll get to that in a minute. And uh, so we'll start. Uh, with the flushing procedure. And so we'll just put the machine in the flushing fluid, the water, and that's what I'm doing now. Okay, so I'm going to put the machine in your clean flushing fluid. And then you're going to put your drain tube in the waste bucket. Make sure your, your valve is open and you start running the machine at slow speed. And we're trying to get it going as fast just so you can prime. Now you make sure that your pump is clear. You got clean flushing fluid coming out so you know your pump is clean. And now you want to make sure your lines are clean also. So you want to open your gun and then close the priming valve. And then the air in the line will be pumped out and then you'll start uh, flushing out the line. Keep the gun triggered the whole time. You have to keep the gun triggered, otherwise you'll build up pressure in the line. If pressure builds up in the line, it will make a splashback. So make sure you have it held down the whole time. Sure, a nice clean flushing fluid is coming out through the line. That looks clean. Okay, now we're going to start priming with the paint. So we'll take the machine out of the flushing fluid. And switch to paint. Now we're in the paint. Make sure your drain tube is in. Now we're going to prime. We turn the pressure just up enough so it'll pump. And then we we'll watch what's coming out of the tube. And once paint starts coming out, we know we're primed. Now that's paint. Now we take our gun, again trigger the gun, and close the priming valve. So now we're going to prime the line with paint. Now we're starting to see some paint. We got a mix of air and paint. Okay, now we're good. Now what we do is we just turn the machine off. Okay, now we're going to add the tip, and we add the tip holder, tip guard and tip holder onto it, and then, and then we add the tip. This is a 539 tip. Make sure it's all the way in. Make sure it's tight and centered. And now the tip is installed. The gun is locked. And our next step is to set our pressure. Okay, so now I've got my gun locked. And as soon as I pressurize this line, 
This gun is gonna be like a loaded weapon. Make sure it's, you never point it at anyone, you never point it at yourself, and always uh, make sure it's locked when you're not doing it. And then uh, later we'll show you how to depressurize the system. But once this thing is pressurized, it's, it's very high pressure and can be dangerous. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our pressure. Now the only way to set your pressure is by trying. So you try the pressure from a lower pressure and then you, you see how it, it goes on a test scrap material. And then you increase until you get the right pattern and then you're ready to go. Okay, so right now the machine is off and the pressure is at the minimum. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, first we're gonna turn it on. And now we're at about a thousand PSI. And well, we'll start with a thousand PSI, and then we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll test spray it, and then we'll increase it as needed. Okay, we'll test spray now at the minimum pressure. And you can see it's got trails. So we need to increase the pressure a little bit. And in order to safely uh, release the pressure, we just take a few simple steps. First off, you see our gun, our trigger is locked. But what we do is, first, we turn the machine off. Now it's off. And then, we release the pressure by very slowly opening the priming valve. And then we'll release the pressure in the system. Slowly turn it. pressure is released. Now we're going to talk about how to reclaim all the paint that's in the lines and in the pump and so we don't have to waste it. And so the first thing we'll do is we'll remove our tip and we'll make sure that, that we're depressurized. Yep, we are depressurized. So we remove our tip and we can just put it into our flushing fluid. And then we're going to take our pump and we're going to put it in the clean flushing fluid. First let the paint run. Open the priming valve. Now we're going to pump the remaining paint that's in the pump into the paint. So I'll press our on switch and we'll watch the paint that's coming out. That looks like water, so we'll switch it into the into the waste bucket. And then we'll finish off with the gun. Open the latch and close the priming valve. And now we'll remove all the paint from the lines. Now we'll watch the paint. That's nice pure paint coming out of the line. Now it's starting to look thin. When I release the trigger, I'm going to switch over to the waste bucket. And now I'm just going to, I'm going to continue flushing until what's coming out here is nice, clear water.
Alright, now we're just going to have to clean all the filters and so forth. We'll start with the tip and the tip guard. So you pull out the tip. Clean it as best you can. Strainer. There's a check hole on the seat that has to be clean as well. Can clean everything, clean it. And the next thing is the pump filter. Place our filter. 